The Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, SMBLF, has condemned the scheme by the two major political parties in the country, the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to force the Northern President on the nation, calling on delegates to their national conventions to be sure to vote only for Southern presidential aspirants. The forum, under the leadership of pa Edwin Clark, met in Abuja on Thursday to deliberate on the state of the nation, particularly the worsening insecurity, the 2023 general elections, and what they termed the recent troubling development in the polity. In a communique issued at the end of the meeting made available to the media on Friday, the forum maintained its stance for power to go to the south in the 2023 election in consonance with the principle of zoning and power rotation between the north and the south. According to it, this is the basis on which the Nigerian Federation has, since independence, been premised. The communique reiterated that the zoning and rotation of the presidency of Nigeria are fundamental to the future existence of the country. It therefore condemned in its strongest term obvious schemes by the two major political parties, the PDP and APC, ahead of their presidential primaries to jettison the time-honored principle of rotation, which has traditionally served as the glue holding the Federal Republic of Nigeria together. The communique warned that the reported permutations by the main political parties to foist northern presidential candidates on the nation would be a grave misadventure with grim consequences on national concord and harmony. Therefore, calls on all delegates of all political parties and true lovers of democracy as a sacred obligation to reject presidential aspirants or candidates from the north and only vote for those from the south in the party primaries. Calls on all politicians and professionals from the south not to accept on any account the position of vice president as that would amount to a shameful committal of present and future generations of southern Nigeria to a senseless political visage. Further insist that in observance of the principles of justice, equity, fairness and political inclusiveness, the south and particularly the southeast zone being the third leg on which Nigeria's political trajectory had resolved should produce the next president of the country in 2023, insists that this would bring the Igbo quest for full reintegration and reconciliation since the end of the civil war in 1970 to full realization. The leaders commended prominent northern politicians who have maintained support for the emergence of a southern president saying SMBLF commends a number of northern governors who have demonstrated great patriotism by their public support for the rotation of the presidency to the south. To name a few, Malam Nasi Erufai of Kaduna State, Amino Belo Masari of Kastina State, Baba, Baba Ghana Umar Zulom of Bonu State, and Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, OFR of Kano State, while equally urging other well-meaning northern leaders who believe in the oneness of Nigeria to support this cause because therein lies the unity and progress of Nigeria. On the worsening state of insecurity and rampaging violence across the country, the forum warned that Nigeria is plummeting into a state of total disorder and lawlessness with attacks on innocent people resulting in kidnapping, loss of lives and destruction of properties happening in different parts of the country almost daily. According to the communique, sadly, the federal government and its security agencies are not doing enough to arrest the situation whereby people can no longer travel safely either by road, rail or even by air to Kaduna State in particular. It is not only frightening but unimaginable that despite the heavy presence of military commands and installations in the state, there could be such security challenges. Cite the bombing of the Kaduna Abuja bound train over 60 days ago, as well as the brazen attack on motorists on the Abuja Kaduna Road about two days ago. On both occasions, innocent lives were lost, while several people were wounded, with many adopted undesirably 
most of those who were kidnapped are still in the terrorist captivity after 60 days. SNBLF condemned the unmistakable terms. The killing of Miss Deborah Samuel Yakubu, a student of the College of Education, Sokoto, by her Muslim schoolmates and the widespread of violence that engulfed the state following the arrest of two of her killers. It denounced the worrisome disregard for the inviolability of human life by terrorists, criminals and religious extremists in the country. It also strongly condemns the recent burning to death of a young man, a sound engineer by commercial motorcyclists in Lagos, as well as the spree of killings and wanton destruction of properties and businesses owned by Southerners, particularly the occurrence a few days ago at the DAD market in Abuja. The forum decried the unabating killing and destruction of livelihoods in the Middle Belt region, especially in the southern Kaduna, southern Bornu, southern Gumbe, Benue, Taraba, and so on, and the inaction of the federal government to live up to its constitutional responsibility of safeguarding the lives and properties of its citizens. According to the Comnic, the leaders classified these killings as pervasive acts of aggression on the indigenous people being perpetrated by elements of Islamic extremism and terrorists as cultural genocide and ethnic cleansing. The Comnic added, The meeting cautions that these bellicocytes and deliberate program to exterminate the indigenous population of the Middle Belt are by implication acts of aggression against the rest of Nigeria and would not be tolerated any further. The ploy is the inhuman plight of the 1,700 indigenous people of southern Kaduna driven out of their homes and have now become internally displaced persons IDP for over five years, as well as several other internally displaced persons in different parts of the country, led to, left to live in conditions that impinge on their human rights as citizens of this country. Hence, calls on the federal government to, without delay, facilitate the return and reintegration of these Nigerians into their communities. The meeting resolved to resist, through all legitimate means, the bare-faced attempt by religious fundamentalists to impose on the rest of us, a Nigeria of one country, different laws. The meeting reaffirmed the commitment of the people of the southern Nigeria and the Middle Belt to the restructuring of the country in tandem with the principles of true federalism as was established by the founding fathers of Nigeria. The communique was signed by Chief Clark, the leader, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, leader of NFRA, Dr. Pogu Beatrice, President General Middle Belt Forum, Professor George Obiozo, President General Hanyeze Indigo Worldwide, and Senator Emmanuel Ibok Isin, National Chairman, Pandef.